ओके गाइज इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट टॉर्शनल कनेक्शन वर्सेस मोमेंट कनेक्शन ओके आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन हाउ द फोर्स इज ट्रेवल्ड टू द बोल्ड इन केस ऑफ ए टॉर्शनल कनेक्शन एंड इन केस ऑफ ए मोमेंट कनेक्शन करेक्ट सो इफ यू दिस चैनल प्लीज टू सब्सक्राइब एंड ऑल्सो डोंट फॉरगेट टू प्रेस द बेल आइकन सो दैट इन फ्यूचर यू कैन बी बेनिफिटेड ओके सर द वेरी फर्स्ट ए टॉर्शनल कनेक्शन वॉट इज ए टॉर्शनल कनेक्शन वेल let's say you have a column like this and here you have a raptor like this one but in between let's say uh, you have a bracket like this where you need to support some load okay and this type of connection is very common in case of a gantry girder okay so in case of a gantry girder you need to support the load coming from the gantry through the bracket like this and this bracket is attached with the flange of the column okay so here you can see that this bracket or the line diagram is this one here this is the plate where the load is being applied and it is attached with the flange of this column this is the flange okay and let's say you are using 5 volt so how this load is going to be transferred here well the very first one is that this load is transferred here in the form of a shear action okay so this 100 kilo newton shear force is going to be distributed through each of this bolt equally so each bolt will carry a shear force equals with yes 20 kilo newton right but due to this eccentricity it will have some moment here like this rather it will produce a torsion here not moment because this moment is in plane moment and you know in plane moment is nothing but a torsion okay so now if you have a bolt group like this and you are applying some torsion here okay so what will happen well go back to the basic of torsion let's say this is a shaft and you are applying a torsion here so what is the stress distribution for this particular cross section so if you simply draw this cross section and due to this torque or torsion the stress distribution is simply like this okay the outermost fiber is stressed maximum and the center fiber will have zero stress okay so the stress distribution is just like this one so similarly here also as we are applying the torsion about this center this bolt will carry zero torsion so all the torsion is going to be carried by this four bolts only and the stress distribution is something like this okay simply like this one let's say instead of uh, having only four or five bolts okay let's say we have multiple bolts like this one one row two three four let's say we have four row and we are applying the torsion created by this 100 kilo newton force with eccentricity 600 mm we will have a torsion here like this and now the maximum torsional stress will be created in this bolt okay in this bolt and in this one and in this one okay but here this four bolt will carry least torsional stress okay now how to calculate this one simply you know the stress due to torsion is nothing but torsion times the radial distance here this is the radial distance of the bolt in this case let's say this is r1 and this is r2 okay so the radial distance divided by the polar moment of inertia the polar of moment of inertia of this group is nothing but the summation of cross sectional area of each bolt times their radial distance okay so for this two bolt let's say this is r1 but for this two bolt let's say this is r2 just like this you can calculate the stress in each and every bolt due to torsion and the stress due to shear force is simply equal for each and every volt correct now come to the 
moment connection okay so if we have a reactor like this one or simply let's say we have a pipe rack connection here this is a moment connection this is beam and this is column so here you can see that the beam is connected with the flange okay but the moment is being applied like this okay so as a result what will produce due to this moment here we will have a tension and here we'll have a compression okay so the shear force is going to be transferred in the same way just like in the case of a torsional connection but here the moment will first be converted into a tensile force and into a compressive force what is the magnitude of this tensile force or this compressive force very simple the moment here if it is m and this depth if the depth of this beam is simply d then the value of this tensile force or this compressive force is simply m by d okay now this tension or this compression is need to be transferred to the flange of the column how simply the tension will be first transferred to this end plate here this is the end plate then from this end plate to this bolt here so all this four row of bolt will carry the tensile force okay and then from the bolt it will be transferred to this flange of the column okay so here you can see that the mechanism is completely different for a moment connection here the moment is being converted into a tensile force and compressive force then that tension is being transferred to this bolt directly okay so directly this tension is being transferred to this four bolt or eight bolt or six bolt whatever it is okay but in case of a torsion the mechanism is completely different based on their radial distance the stress is shared okay so that's the difference between torsional connection and moment connection if you love this video don't forget to share it